Okay, we'd like to say welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Ponderosa Ballroom. And of course, this evening, we have a spectacular group. That's plural, groups and entertainers. And of course, this is for the Midwest All Music Association Hall of Fame. Now, I can't hear you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Scott Sanborn uh, will not be with us this evening. Uh, he let me know a couple days ago that uh, he's had some health problems and unfortunately uh, he canceled out. However, I was able to get the second man in line and he's the one and only Justin Roberts. You don't get the mic yet. Okay. Anyway, Justin will take over as the MC this evening. And I want you to give him a nice big round of applause, please. Thank you, Al. You ever watch a movie and you know the actor, but you're like, there's no way that actor did that kind of stunt. They're what they're called body doubles in the movie world. I'm Scott Sanborn's much handsomer, younger, better in fit, not nearly as deep of a voice, not nearly as tall body double is what I am. So, so thank you so much for me. It's good to see people. This is the first time I've left the house with pants on um, in, in about a few weeks. Um, but it's good to be out here. I've never been to the Ponderosa Ballroom before. I've always heard about it when I was at WMT. I talked about it. I did the commercials for it. But after living here for 20 years, I finally made it to the Ponderosa Ballroom tonight. So a very exciting time to be here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're here on a very auspicious occasion because we're not uh, only inducting one, not two, but 722 members in the Mama Hall of Fame tonight. We should be out of here by three tomorrow morning. But first off, I want to bring our first inductee up here. I'm going to let you uh, introduce you to him and him to you. Jim Miller, would you give him a please big round of applause? Jim, where are you, sir? There he is. Jim, come on up here. Yep, I think you can get up that way. Let me give you a little bit about Jim, and I want to talk to him for a couple moments. He toured the Midwest from 1972 to 1978, including Iowa, Minnesota, Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin, Nebraska, Ohio, North Carolina. He was a guitar teacher in his 20s, and ladies and gentlemen, in front of you is the only man to be let in and out of MHI and Independence because he was performing there. Jim Miller, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, sir. Al's got hardware for you. Any, any words, uh, words of encouragement, enlightenment? Just a pleasure to be here with you all this evening. Looking forward to a great evening, so uh, thank you so much. Give another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Miller. Uh, Justin, I have a picture of Jim Miller and it goes back to 19, what is it? 72, 1972, and we may auction that off uh, later on this evening. If you'd like to take a look at it, it's over here at the admission uh, table, and uh, you might think it's worth a dollar or two. So anyway, number two inductee. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you Jesse Boatwright, whose first introduction to the stage was at the VFW Post in Waterloo at the age of seven, and now here we are 20 years later, and she's being inducted into the Mama Hall of Fame. I was hoping she at least would yell about that. She spent eight years in California. She escaped Texas. She's back here in eastern Iowa. Here she comes on stage, your number two inductee in the Mama Hall of Fame. Uh, look at that dress. I almost wore the same thing. Boy, am I glad I did. One of us would have had to have changed. Jesse, congratulations, Jesse. Nice to meet you. I'll hand the microphone to you. Any words of encouragement and enlightenment? Well, as long as I'm not sneezing or coughing, I feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> After being gone from Iowa for 42 years, I have a whole new set of allergies that has developed. And um, I also have a new husband that I brought back with me, so it you know, kind of evens out. I am very pleased to be here and very honored to accept this. 
I was born and raised in uh, Cedar Falls, Iowa, and left at 17, and came back, well, you do the math, three years ago. So, anyway, it's great to be here. I don't have an orchestra tonight, but I have the next best thing, two really good sound men, so I'm looking forward to, to entertaining you for a short time. Jesse Boatwright, ladies and gentlemen. Does she look good? She smells really good as well, too. And it wasn't mine, too, yesterday. It kind of worked out great, so. Our number three inductee, I believe, brought a cake, if I was reading the room correctly. Lucy Sharp. Where are you at, Lucy? The words of uh, Johnny Olson. Come on! Lucy is no stranger when it comes to dancing and playing the tambourine. She grew up in Des Moines. We won't hold that against her, though. Uh, she went to St. Joseph Academy High School. When she was 15, she snuck into her first rock and roll concert. And here she is, all those seven years later, getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. Here she comes on stage. Lucy Sharp, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this pants, by the way. The shoes and the pants match. Before I turn the microphone over to Lucy, I want to tell you, this lady is the, one of the strongest supporters of the MAMA organization that we ever have. Uh, bless her heart, and of course she's in love with a particular band, I won't mention the Blue 60 band, so, uh, oh, I already said it, didn't I? Okay, anyway, this lady donated $500 to the MAMA organization, and also, she's going to play tambourine for you this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, nice big round of applause for Lucy Sharp. Well, I just want to say thank you very much for everybody that gave me the opportunity to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. And uh, it's, I enjoy playing the tambourine. It's fun. And I love you all. Lucy, thank you very much. Give, give us a turn. I want to make sure everybody can see those pants. Diamond studded pants, by the way. And shoes. Very well done. There you go. Let me all step out of the way, get pictures here. Every time I see Al, it's like he's running for office. You know, he's, he's a big smile, he can, he can sell any room. So give her another round of applause as she exits the stage, please! Our next inductees, plural, the Hot Rods are a unique mix of guys who started out playing the top 40 hits for their 8th grade graduation party back in the 60s to a couple of generations next to a few years later to millennials who love to perform the classics. Yes, sir. We're ahead of ourselves. We are? Oh. Oh, yeah, because my two pages stuck together. As we say, more on them coming up. That's a tease. We're teasing ahead, so. Our next inductee is not only a person, he's a place and a thing, and unfortunately he's not with here tonight, so we can say anything about him, and as long as you keep it between the room, he ain't gonna know. Burn on Fire Recording and Mastering Studio in my native land of Fayette County up in West Union, Iowa, owned by Mr. Doug Kemple, a fully equipped facility offering both analog and digital recording capabilities. He's had some very talented folks come through his door. He was signed by Chart Records in Nashville in 1974. Uh, let's see, also, he's a help to folks uh, like, um, do, 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 a couple folks, how about this? Uh, somebody who sang a little music from Dawson's Creek, I wanna get you the name, uh, Emily West, uh, he helped her in the 80s and 90s, uh, also uh, so many other folks. Um, I wish he was here tonight because goodness knows he'd have a lot of stories for us. But on his behalf, ladies and gentlemen, the man who's going to accept for him and sell the award back to him, Al Hunsinger, right there. Would you like to speak for Doug? Yes. Many of you know who Doug Campbell is. Unfortunately, Doug is not with us this evening. He had hoped to be with us. Uh, he's got a very close friend, Jim Miller, who was going to be performing. And uh, uh, he wanted to see Jim also be here to accept his award. 
How many of you just, uh, by chance, happen to get Doug's uh, newspaper every week? Raise your hand. Two people. Okay. Doug has Doug has over four thousand people that he emails his newspaper out to every weekend, and unfortunately, he lost his mother uh, last May. She was a listen carefully a practicing attorney at the age of 95 the oldest attorney in the state of iowa to be practicing 95 years old anyway our hearts go out to doug and unfortunately we understand that he is going to give up the memory brothers and also doing any play in the future so on behalf of Doug, I accept this award. Thank you. Practicing attorney at 95 years old. You would think after all that practicing, she'd get good, you know? <laughs> so that's a lot of lawsuits. All right, now we continue on. Uh, please turn your uh, hymnal to page 722, The Hot Rods. Are a unique mix of guys who started out playing top 40 hits, I feel like I just heard this, for their 8th grade graduation party back in the 60s. Now, a few generations later, they're doing the same for millennials. John and Andy Garcia, a father and son team, strike up the band. Uh, they also have the Hankison brothers, Kirk and Jay fill in with lovely bass guitar and tinkling keyboards. Matt Toomey bangs out the drums, put them together. They are your next inductee of the Mama Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome the Hot Rod! <laughs> Not you? Did you guys plan that? Or did you just happen to wear the same shirt at the same time? So. Who wants to be the spokesman? You make direct eye contact. It's going to be you. We fought a bowling team on the way in. <laughs> And we thought their shirts were cool. So, uh, uh, as Al hands out these certificates, yeah, uh, my my big brother Jay on the end. I'm so proud of my big brother. He taught me to spit and cuss and whiz for distance. And uh, <laughs> um, but we really did have a band called The Other Side, and we played for my eighth grade graduation. That was our first paid gig ever. That must have been 1960 or no. Yeah. We uh, thank Mama, but we also want to mention uh, the certificate for Richie Reeves, who is our founding member. And uh, he's no longer with us, but we still love him. Uh, he, without him, there would be no hot rods. And so here's to Richie. Hey, here, let's, let's do this. Well, Alice, I want to talk to the one who taught you how to spit and cuss and curse. Reverend, what time is Mass tomorrow? <laughs> I think it's 9 o'clock. Okay. Sharp-ish. Yeah, sharp-ish. Head mattress to pillow, so. All right. Uh, here we are. So the 60s, here we are now, 20 and 21. Did you think it would still continue? I had no idea. You obviously weren't with them back in the 60s. You're younger than me. What about you? I joined these guys about 10 years ago, but I, I've been playing for about 40, 45 years. Who makes the decision on the shirts, by the way? Who Who's in charge? Not me. I mean, who, who makes the decision on the uh, the attire? Captain you, Captain of the Bowling Team? Yeah. I don't, I'll take the blame, I guess. I, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. It was quite a few years ago we decided to get some shirts that matched and and they still fit. Look at that. After all these years, they still fit, too. So give these guys another big round of applause for Hot Rods. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll see you and hear from you a little bit later. So. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to hand it to I'll hand it to you. Patty Reeves, come on up.
This is Patty Reeves, Richie's wife. And uh, she's in here in memory of Richie accepting his reward to the induction of the Model Hall of Fame. We want to honor a mention to our sound guy who isn't here. He's uh, very popular, and uh, uh, Lonnie Binge is also receiving. Uh, he's, and I'm, I'll accept that. I got two now. <laughs> okay, all right, for Lonnie Binge. And also, you get the award. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice big round of applause for the hot rides. Welcome back to Hour 72 of the Telethon. We'll get a tote board here in a little bit. Last, but certainly not least, because we have two to go yet, so second to last. See? Math. They say never do it on the radio and on stage, and now you know why. Uh, eight Seconds has been performing around Eastern Iowa and the Midwest since 2001 and been part of many huge events. They've opened for a huge number of national acts, too, from Jason Aldean, Dirk Bentley, Blake Shelton, and Justin Moore and more. Here they come. Make them feel welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Your next group of inductees, eight seconds. <laughs> Who wants to be the spokesman or woman for the group? Him right there. How are we all doing today? Excellent. It's a great honor and pleasure to be here. We've, uh, there's a little mixture of eight seconds for the last 20-some years. Um, Jeff Nelson, Heather Warren, myself, Mike Flack, Jeff Madison. Some of us cannot be here, but uh, we're all here together in spirit, for sure. Um, I want to dedicate one thing. We lost a really close family member of ours that was part of the band as well, Jason O'Connor. This is going out to him. I would have loved for anything for him to be here, but we had a lot of fun, seen a lot of things, done a lot of things, played for a lot of people. This guy right here was like one of my biggest, I, I watched everything he did growing up and the bands that he was in. It, was, it gave me the idea to start a band and I owe a lot of it to Jeff. So, and everybody else along the way that's helped out with eight seconds and uh, it's been a pleasure to have these memories and I hold my heart for a very long time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Jeff? Uh, I think it's a huge testament to Mike Flack to be able to keep the band together for 20 years, doing it solid with huge crowds no matter where he went. And uh, I'm so proud of Mikey and I'm so grateful to be able to play music with him tonight. Anybody over on the left side of the room, huh? We're all good? The strong silent type over there, gotcha. All right, okay. Not always. Not, not always, he says. There's Al with the award and the certificate right there. And again, we want to congratulate you guys. All right, give him a big, what's that? Yeah, I was going to take him out back and smack him around a little bit. No, it's not an old wine gathering. We're down here in Lynn County. There's a difference. So give these guys a round of applause. Get eight seconds. All right. next uh, group of uh, individuals, the Blue 60 Band. Thank, uh, unfortunately, thanks to inflation, they're the Blue 75 Band now. But here they come. Popular, uh, the popularity of this group, a seven-piece 60s band. They're getting really hot. You get a chance to see them tonight. Uh, 50s and 60s, here's a quote. Music it was foundation for everything that that band followed. And then uh, they are a proud uh, member and carrier of the music tradition and now a proud member of the Mama Hall of Fame. Would you clap long enough to get all 722 of them on stage, please, ladies and gentlemen? The Blue 60 Band. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Blues, on behalf of Blue 60, I just wanted to thank uh, Al Hunsinger in particular and the Mama organization. Do you need more room? Oh, okay, gotcha. There's seven of us, that's right. Uh, just 
uh, many thanks to Al and the Mama organization for giving us the opportunity to share the stage with so many legendary groups and individuals that have graced other Iowa stages through the years. Just really, really proud to be able to do that. But I don't want to miss anybody, so I wrote out, down a couple of things. Uh, we've had the good fortune of having a group of dancers, some of whom are uh, here uh, tonight representing them who have followed us and helped make us what we are. Their support has been crucial to us. The Something Else Dancers, we really have appreciated them through the years and uh, appreciate their support. We also appreciate our spouses and significant others. Uh, I wanted to say, you know, they put up with weird schedules and, and uh, uh, weird gig schedules and I can't guarantee it's gonna get any better, but I hope that you hang with us and we appreciate and love you very much for hanging in there with, with us. Uh, we also wanted to just say a special thank you to Cheyenne and Barb Lurch. They're sitting over there. They have been our roadies extraordinaire through the years. Uh, without them, uh, we'd all have serious back problems because they take care of a lot of the heavy lifting of that gear. And uh, they have uh, graced our dance floor and uh, took a leadership role there, and we really appreciate that. And so for anybody who uh, else who has been a supporter of Blue 60, we appreciate you very much. Thank you. Chickens. <laughs> be a very boring set later tonight if everybody affords the microphone like that. So, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you give another big round of applause? Help uh, welcome them back to their seats. Blue 60 Band, ladies and gentlemen. which at one time, and still today, these guys are bigger than the Beatles. Literally, there were only four Beatles, and there's eight of these, seven of these guys, so it's still maintained. So thank you guys, we'll see you later tonight. We'll hear from you later tonight as well. We look forward to that, so. Last but not least for the last time. You wanna go first? When I moved to Cedar Rapids back in 2002, I worked at WMT Radio. It used to be a radio station back then. And we would always do commercials for this little place in Walford called the Ponderosa Ballroom. And they would always talk about Dale Thomas and they'd talk about uh, Barefoot Becky and the Ivanhoe Dutchman. And it was my job every week to record the Ponderosa commercial. Dale Thomas. Played with him for six years. Did you really? Yeah. Dale Thomas. I think he was the popcorn. No, that was that was uh, that was Orville Redenbacher. Never mind. But here we are, as I mentioned to you earlier. Now, uh, what is it? 18 years later. Tonight is the first night I've ever been in the Ponderosa Ballroom, and I apologize that it took me that long. And I personally apologize to Connie and Paul Lewis, whose house this is. We're having a party at tonight. We want to honor them in the Ponderosa Ballroom on behalf of Mama and the Midwestern Music, All Music Association. Come up here, guys. Without you, we would have this entire group crammed in my garage right now. It would not be nearly as much fun. So, this opened, was it back in, well, I guess I could read the bio here, but this started as a school back in the 50s. How did it become what it is now? Paul, did you start knocking down a lot of drywall, or how did it become the Ponderosa Ballroom of yore now? Well, it started in 1971 when uh, Regis and Barb Art from Fairfax bought it and uh, converted it. They built the bar on in 72 and started it out with a, a, a venue for, for music. And it's such a success. The next year in 73, they built this section over here, and it's been this way ever since. Um, the school closed in the 60s, and so it became available in the early 70s. So, uh, so then me and Connie acquired it about 18 years ago, and we've had it ever since. We weren't even grandparents, and now we have eleven. So we want to thank everybody for all your support over the years. And uh, we really appreciate it, Al. Thank you. Connie, anything from you? Okay, but before we say goodbye to you, what do you have coming up? 
I mean, this is your chance to plug upcoming events. So what else you got cooking here the next few weeks? Yeah. I'm going to play some golf. Uh, probably go south for the winter. Uh, we've been kind of closed because of the pandemic. So really don't have a whole lot on our schedules. Uh, we just we did a wedding last weekend. So, um, you know, and the dances, we kind of uh, let those go to the Alps and Sea Rapids because of the pandemic. So we don't have a whole lot going on here. All right? Anytime you want us to come back and drink, just open the door. We'll all come help you out, all right? So, Connie and Paul Lewis, ladies and gentlemen, the Ponderosa Ballroom. I looked at Connie, and she said, yes, 11 grandkids. And I'm thinking to myself, that's built-in part-time help right there when the time comes. So, oh, did we, we, have, we have food back there. What are they cooking? What do they got? Made rights and hot dogs. Okay. And uh, so two grandsons are over there, and then my son and my daughter are one, one son and there you go. All right. So, so meet the Lewis family, ladies and gentlemen, while you're here tonight. So, thank you guys very much right. for letting us be here tonight and taking over the space. We certainly appreciate it. So, the Ponderosa Ballroom. Give it to them, ladies and gentlemen. Let them hear it. Now, now, there's paperwork to be signed. Correct? Absolutely. The uh, bands that uh, were just inducted. We want them to come over here, and uh, there's seating over here for eight. But we want you to sign, if you would, uh, the uh, booklet that uh, was given to you as you came in the door. Uh, also, if you want your leg signed or tattooed or whatever, stop over here uh, we'd be more than happy and have the band sign uh, whatever you want if it's a blank check fine so please go over their tables and get their signatures thank you and then we will kind of kick things back off around six o'clock tonight with the music showcase i believe so we'll do that so Mill about, uh, get autographs signed, go to the bathroom, check in on football games. Are there any Iowa State fans here tonight? All right, I'll use smaller words. Um, thank you. That, that joke usually kills the further north I go. So, no, what we'll do is, because again, we want you to pay attention to music when we get into it, so not checking on your phone. So I will give you scoreboard updates when appropriate throughout the evening as well tonight for the Iowa State Cyclones. I believe, Al, they're still scoring points over in Maryland. Even though Iowa's on the way back home, they still scored another 12 points on the way home. So, uh, six o'clock, come back where you are. We'll fire up with our inductees and we'll have a good old fashioned uh, uh, barn dance, if you will, or at least a, a sock hop tonight here on behalf of Mama and all of our groups. In the meantime, have a little fun, get something signed, and we'll see you back here in about an hour and a half. Thank you, Justin. Justin Roberts, ladies and gentlemen.